Hey guys, I don't know if you have heard by now, but Tumultype has released a version 4 recently. In this short video, I want to give you a short run through of my favorite new features and show you why this could be really interesting for you. So stay tuned. By the way, in case you don't know what Tumultype is, it is an authoring tool for interactive web animations. It is very designer friendly, so even if you don't know anything about code, this is a perfect tool for you to create HTML5 animations. It can be compared to Adobe Animate CC or Google Web Designer in that regard, although it actually is more similar to the late Edge Animate. So for all of you out there who still miss Edge Animate, you should definitely check out Tumult Hype. If you want to learn more about the difference between the different authoring tools, check out my video on authoring tools for rich content on richcontentdesign.com. Now back to the topic at hand, Hype version 4. One of the biggest and brightest new features here is the vector feature. This allows you to actually draw real shapes and vector path right into Multipe and create web animations with that. That's right, it allows you to combine HTML DOM animations with SVG animations and you don't have to write a single line of code. I mean, how sweet is that? This brings hype to a completely new level. I'm talking icon animations, charts, animated letters, character animations and so much more. Since this is such an amazing and powerful new feature, I have dedicated a couple of videos just for them. So you might want to check them out if you are interested in this topic. Also new in Tumultype is the sprite sheet support in the Pro version. You can now easily create animations using existing sprites, image files or animated GIF. Along with duration and loop options, the resulting animated element can be manipulated on the timeline and therefore easily combined with any other animation in Tumultype. This is really handy for realistic 3D-like models, for example product shots, but it can also be used for complex character animations. You can watch a complete tutorial including sprite sheet assets for you if you are interested. Again, you can find this on richcontentdesign.com. Another thing I really love about the new Tumult Hype is how thoughtful new features are implemented. A good example here is the new page turn transition that allows you to use drag gestures in any direction to let the user navigate between scenes. This is great for app transition simulations, but also very cool for storytelling. And again, you can simply edit using the interface in like two seconds. Boom, just like that, done. In case you do love to write JavaScript, however, you will definitely praise this new feature. You can now seamlessly edit code in your preferred code editor and use all your favorite shortcuts, code completion, settings, etc, etc, etc. Once you save the changes in your editor, it will automatically be updated into Multipe. This means you can switch back and forth just like that. Using code in Multipe has never been more fun, promise. And I wish Animate CC could do something like that. By the way, you can edit images in tools like Photoshop in the same way as well. And this is really awesome. Good news for those of you who are already use, using or plan on using Hype for banner ads or are just keen on fast loading anyway. The Pro version offers an advanced export option to support the official CDN, which means using hosted runtime files through a content delivery network. For ads, this typically doesn't count against deliverable file size requirements, so it keeps your ad smaller, and it also can speed up loading in some cases. If you're not yet convinced about the new Hype version, there is still more to come. You can now use drop and inset shadows, add skewing to elements, take snapshots of your active scene and use them as poster or backup image for ads, or as a fallback when the user has disabled JavaScript. Instead of built-in or custom easings, you can now write JavaScript equations to define the timing function of your animation. 
you can add additional HTML attributes and access the built-in physics engine using JavaScript and an Element Setter API. And these are only the most important features in a really quick summary. I hope I was able to give you a small insight here. Of course, feel free to ask questions and leave comments. I'm very interested in suggestions on which topics you want me to do a short tutorial or more in-depth video about. So let me know what's on your mind. In case you don't have a Hype license yet, but are now interested in giving it a spin, there is a very comfortable 14-day trial option which gives you full access to all features in Tumultype without any strings attached. So go to tumult.com and check out the 14-day trial if you want to. Don't forget to check out more videos and free stuff on richcontentdesign.com, of course, as well. So get your hype on.